it's Dawn from Daydream Manor Flower Farm and I'm coming to you today from my front porch. It is not as hot as it has been just because it's overcast and it's about to rain again. But I needed a mental break and I thought, mm, I'm going to go sit on the front porch. And I really wanted to have a conversation about something today because um, I really wanted you guys' input on this topic. Because it is something I saw a couple of weeks ago and it just, I don't know, it has unsettled me in some ways. So, um, if you're new here, I own a small flower farm in Zone 8B in South Louisiana. Uh, I've been at it for a little over two years, and it's like my third grow season. Um, it's me and my husband. We both work outside the home, so we are learning a lot. We're learning as we grow, because um, that's not punny at all. But I need it... I need to get something off my chest and I need to see if I'm the only one thinking in these terms because again maybe it is just where I am in this season of my life um, it may just be from my life experiences but I, I just need to I need to share with y'all so a few weeks ago there was a post done by someone that I followed on um, on social media talking about you know being honest with new flower farmers about how expensive it really is and you know um, they need to understand that when you plant these big crops, it's thousands of dollars, not just if you lose a sale tray or whatever, because that's really not a whole lot of money. And the person did say, you know, it is relative in that, but I started reading through the, com the comments and I, I was like, wow, okay. Um, so if I lose two trays of set and two sales, uh, two tray sales of seeds kind of got discounted in all of that. And so I, I don't like the way that makes me feel, let alone other folks. So I kind of wanted to have a conversation around that. And I want to share with y'all a couple of things that I think. And then I'm going to show you one of my one of my other fails. So I, I have a budget. I've said this since the very beginning. I do have a budget. And my husband will tell you the budget is zero. So stay as close to that as you can. Um, and so I am looking to run a business. I am looking at losses and profits and all of those pieces that go into running a profitable business. I'm not in this just because I think flowers are pretty. Now, don't get me wrong. Flowers are pretty. But it is not the reason why I am running a flower farm. And so that that is something somewhere that you have to get if you're going to run a profitable business, in my opinion. So I've lost... Um, several trays, multiple, multiple trays of straw flowers this year. Uh, for whatever reason, I didn't have good germination. I shared this when I finally got germination. I got them out into the field and then those stupid leafhopper bugs just sucked the life out of them and uh, it has been a hot mess. Well, when I saw this post, I started thinking about that and I was like, well, wait a minute. So let's take me out of this, this equation. If I was paying someone to a soil block, to plant, to do whatever, to get those seeds ready for germination. That's money I'm losing. It's not just me out here doing, just throwing some seeds. So when I started calculating that, and I will tell y'all, I went through hundreds, hundreds of seeds for germination for straw flour and just could not get it to work. I did heat mats, no heat mats, under the lights, out of the lights. All it also takes electricity. And so if you start calculating in that, and let's say I paid somebody 10 bucks an hour who was here helping me to do either soil blocking, put them in soil tray, uh, in cell trays. I even tried containers. Um, and let's just say there was three hours spent of doing just, just getting them in to the soil. And then I have my soil and then I had my seed and then I had the electricity to go under lights. Then I had a three or four day wait period to see if they were even going to germinate. All right, at bare minimum, I'm out probably 40, 50 bucks. If that happens four times, guys, that's $200. Now, I don't know about y'all, but $200 in my world is a lot of money. Um, I, I don't want to lose $200. So for people to discount small farms are people who are just starting out I, I just think it's crazy um it is relative you don't know what my budget is I, I don't know what your budget is 
that $200 might be the difference between you staying in business or you going out of business. And so it, that is just not set well with me. So when I look at my profits and losses, I want to do everything I can to reduce that loss, right? Just like everyone else. But is it going to happen? Absolutely. Have I taken some risk on a couple of things that didn't pan out? Absolutely. So to date, I have a space on the form that I have lost money on again this year. Um, it just hasn't worked out well. I don't know if third time's going to be the charm for next year. But I want to share that with you because I want you to see the difference between me not getting the price and the cost and the loss of the sun of getting the straw flowers germinated versus this other thing I tried to do. But to me, it's all money. And I, I don't want to lose a dollar. <laughs> and it takes hard work, sweat, and sweat equity to get flower farming going. So, I don't know, y'all. It didn't sit well with me. I know it is relative. Um, I, I get that. I, I think what bothered me the most is that the talk when I was reading through the comments was really just kind of discounting people. And I, I just don't think that's fair. And... Um, I also don't think it's realistic. So, on the next couple of slides, on the next couple of slides, I'm going to show you um, what I was attempting to do, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like today. Mr. Daydream on the tractor for year two, plowing up the same area. Um, yeah, took several days for him out here to do that. Uh, we ended up planting. A large bag of black oil sunflower seeds that was about $25 and I did use a cedar did go back through and thin them so let me show you the result so this is the field yeah I don't see any sunflowers either this was a fail for the second year running and I really think it's probably a soil issue. Um, it's one of those things that I didn't get tested before I decided to do something, um, which was an expensive mistake. So this, if I start calculating in the my husband's time, because it took a couple of days for him to plow this up, this is about 2,000 square foot feet. Um, the wear and tear on the tractor, the diesel for the tractor, um, his time my time uh, I actually bought a cedar and not just because of this but because for a bit for a vegetable farm oh please I don't live too far from an airport so <laughs> um, so I had the cedar I went through and I thinned them out um, and then, of course, something ate on them. They, the weeds took over. I had a hope and a dream, people. A hope and a dream. And I, I, I was laughing because I see these posts where people do these beautiful you pics when photographers can come out and do all these pictures. Here's my pictures. Please, come take a picture with a bunch of weeds. Um, I don't know if I'm going to try again next year. I'd like to but I, I don't know. I do have a soil test that I've got to get done, so that may help. But this is what I'm talking about, about the price and the cost of flower farming. So whether it is two trays of seeds or 2,000 square foot of area for sunflowers, it still comes out of your pocket. And so just be mindful of that. If and maybe maybe it's just me maybe maybe people think it's okay if I just lose a seed of uh, a tray of seeds maybe that's all right it's just not all right with me so be mindful um, if you see those comments you know just be mindful that you don't know everybody's journey and you don't know everybody's budget so I'm gonna head back in now because now the Sun has come back out I guess we've missed the rain and I'm gonna go get some things done but until we meet again, my friends, I hope you're turning all your daydreams, not into this reality, but into a great reality.